What's going on people and welcome back to my finalised team FPL Game Week 22 starts tomorrow night. So I'm just going to be going through my team in this video, um, let you know who my captaincy is, my vice captaincy. And I've got two free transfers that I had available to me so I'm going to go into that and let you know what I did with that. So as you can see from my team as it stands I'm going with Vicario in goal at home to Brentford. Tony does worry me a little bit. I haven't got Tony and just that goal threat. But Tottenham being at home, I fancy them to at least get a point, if not three points. Even though Sun is still away, I still expect Tottenham to win that game. Um, so Vicario is my goalkeeper. Four at the back. I'm going with Trent. Um, he did come on yesterday in the cup, so I expect him to start against Chelsea at home. Um, and I fancy Liverpool against Chelsea in that fixture. Anderson, probably his last week for me in my team. A nice fixture is why I've kept him in. Crystal Palace at home to Sheffield United. If he had have had a tougher fixture, he'd have probably been out with this transfer this week. But he remains. Pedro Porro. Pedro Porro as my vice captaincy then at home to Brentford. I think that he can always get a return even if they're on the losing side. But I think he'll get a return and they'll win the game. So I'm putting the vice on Pedro Porro. Walker as my fourth defender then, City up against Burnley and I'm really targeting that fixture this week and I fancy City to do a number on Burnley, so Walker. And then four in the midfield, Saka keeps his place for now, away to Forest, which I think could be tricky even though they've got some players missing to AFCON. I still think it could be tricky for, for Arsenal, um, but hopefully Saka can do something because he has been underwhelming this season. Palmer away to Liverpool, very tough fixture as I said, I do think Liverpool, it favours them, but hopefully Palmer can at least get a goal and get a return even if they're on the losing side. McGinn uh, at home to Newcastle, I fancy Villa to edge that one, so McGinn captain as well, I feel like he's a threat, so he could get an assist, he could get a goal. And I think that they're edge Newcastle out. So McGinn. And because I'm confident in his minutes, I'm going to go with Foden. Not just captaincy, but triple captaincy in that fixture against Burnley at home. Because I, as I said, I feel like if anyone's going to get dropped, it'll be Alvarez. So I'm risking it a little bit. But at the same time, I feel like, as I said, I'm confident in Foden's minutes. I don't think De Bruyne is going to play a whole game. And I think Foden will stay on. So I'm going to triple captaincy Foden and just go with it. Solanke and Watkins, the two up top then for me. Um, West Ham away for Solanke. I still think Bournemouth could win that game, even though it's at West Ham. I think it's a bit of a 50-50 that game. And then Watkins at home to Newcastle. Hasn't been tremendous, Watkins, but he tends to pop up with the assist if he don't score. So I'm hoping it will at least do one of them. As for my transfers, I did have two to play. And I've only played one um, because I wasn't certain on who to bring in as another. I was going to bring a defender and a midfielder. And for now, I've just brought in a midfielder because I couldn't quite feel comfortable with 100% on bringing a defender in right now. Um, so I've just brought one in from my two transfers and that was taking Bowen out and bringing Pascal Gross in. Now, I am going to bench Gross for the first week and first game week I've got him in. They're away to Luton, which I would put him in the team, but I don't want to take anyone else out with the fixtures they've got as well. So I couldn't find a place for him this week but he will be coming into the fixtures coming up so gross in for Bowen um, and just using one transfer out of the two and roll into next week um, and obviously getting two transfers again Ben White as my second sub away to Forest and then third place sub Gabriel Jesus also away to Forest so that is what I'm going with this week guys um, I always base mine on fixtures and who I think will who it favors and stuff even with my bench so that is how it's looking. Let me know yours in the comments. Obviously, game week starts tomorrow. Um, we know a little bit more information now with cup fixtures and things like that. As you can see, I don't have Harlan, Son or Salah at the moment in my team. But I will be getting at least one of them in at some point when they're back. So, yeah, watch this space and enjoy the football this week, guys. Hope it goes well for you. I'll see you guys soon.